Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. It is Tuesday morning right now, and I am groggy. I'm really tired. I've been having trouble falling asleep. And then I've been taking diphenhydramine, which is basically Benadryl and it does put me to sleep, but then the next day it takes me forever to feel like my brain is functioning normally, but I don't have time to not do things. So here I am. <laughs> so if I seem a little bit slow or like my reactions are not like as insightful, that's why I haven't suddenly just lost a bunch of brain cells, hopefully. All right. So today I'm going to be reacting to an Ofra Haza song, and this is a request from Melihat Hassani, my viewer and friend. And this song is called Elohai, which means my God. This is from the soundtrack to a movie called La Reine Margot, the Queen Margot, by Patrice Chereau, based on Alexandre Dumas's novel. It has the lyrics and the translation. So it says, Ken Yesh Harbe Esther Panim. Um, yes, there are many something faces. They translate it as God often turns away his face. The Ahavot She'i Efshar and loves that are impossible. Kmo She'anu Noladim, the way we are born. El toch hachaim, and in the life, ma nishar. And they translate that as what is left. Um, ken al yamim, yamim rabim, yes, for many days. Um, al hakev shelo chadal, for the unceasing pain. Kmo she anu noladim, the way we are born. And that we beg for a little mercy. Elohai, my God. Elohai, kol haneshama shenatata bi. All of the spirit that is born within me. Elohai, kol haneshama, my God, all of the spirit. Ma, ma, hai. What is it? Elohai ten rak koach lekulam, just give strength to everyone. Elohai ten rak koach leolam, give the world strength. So it is a prayer for mercy from God. Pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> this you're gonna have to like over interpret <laughs> all of my emotions because I'm like so sedated right now it's like if I lift my eyebrow it means I'm going ah that was amazing <laughs> I'm just so tired so yeah I think it's really really beautiful this is actually 
one of my favorite formats to ingest Ofra Chaza's voice in because it is so stripped bare. I love that it starts a cappella and then you hear the instrumentation come in underneath it. And even when it does come in, it's pretty sparse because it takes it out of the context of the limitations of the production of that year that it was made in, you know? So it sounds a lot more timeless and it translates better, I think, to now. And also I really like the way her voice is recorded here. You can hear the clarity, which I think is one of the most lovely aspects of her voice is just how clear and pure her tone is. And I think the visuals are really stunning. I haven't seen this movie, obviously, but it looks pretty epic and it's very fitting that her voice is part of the score because it's kind of the perfect movie voice, <laughs> which is why I think she probably got used in a lot of movies, you know, because it is like so epic, her voice. It's, it's very, very big and larger than life and grand in a way. So I think it fits very, very nicely with these stunning visuals. I think it's really lovely and I think it's an interesting contrast between it's almost like this like klezmer kind of instrumentation towards the end with that strumming um, I think there's like accordion in there and possibly sitar I don't know exactly what the instrumentation is but it sounds very kind of like earthy and provincial in a way and yet her voice provides this really really nice contrast because it's so like elevated and haunting and beautiful with those melismas in the background that it just kind of brings it to this other level and I think makes it appropriate for these epic visuals. It looks like a beautiful movie. Every shot looks like a painting and I was like distracted by how good looking everyone was which is why I didn't stop it more than I did. So you know I think it's Looks like it would be a really good watch. Maybe I'll go watch that movie at some point. My my friend that asked me to react to this also sent me 
the second part of the song, which is in the movie at the end, I guess it comes back. So let's listen to that part of it. The other thing that I noticed is it the instrumentation at the end kind of reminded me of, sorry, it's playing an ad in my ear. Uh, <laughs> the instrumentation of that Leonard Cohen song, Dance Me to the End of Love, you know, that kind of like klezmery sound. I don't know why it brought that to mind, but it just reminded me of it. Hello. flamenco-y guitar and her voice, the simplicity of it really highlights the purity of her tone. I love all of those melismas. And 26 people liked this video, but five people disliked it. That's kind of a, a not great ratio. I wonder why people dislike this. What could you dislike about it? The picture that they used is a little bit shocking, I guess, with the Queen Margot and she's covered in blood and covering her face. So maybe people were reacting to that, but I don't see how people would dislike this musically. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, so I really liked it. I thought it was very moving. And I think this is a context in which Ofra can really shine when her voice is out front and center. And you can just hear that purity and her beautiful melismas and her vocal control. So thank you to Melihat Hassani for recommending that I react to this. I hope that you enjoyed my sleepy, groggy reaction. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So please overinterpret all of my emotions, magnify them exponentially. And I'll see you guys here next time. If it's a Monday when this airs, I'll see you on Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you on Monday. Until then, take care, get good sleep without diphenhydramine and happy singing.